Grandpa in my pocket! This is Miss Smiley's cafe. Miss Smiley is called Miss Smiley because she's always smiling. She has the biggest smile in Sunny Sands. And what's more, she makes the most delicious treats ever. Her cafe is the best cafe in the world. And today, Mum was taking us to her fun kitchen. Miss Smiley was going to teach us how to cook some of her delicious recipes. We were going to cook some of Grandpa's favourite treats, including Miss Smiley's Strawberry Surprise. But just as we were about to leave the house, the doorbell rang. Mum went to answer it, and guess who marched in? Floyd. I'm going to Miss Smiley's fun kitchen and I need a lift. I knew what Grandpa was thinking because I was thinking it too. Not Floyd. Floyd lives in the house opposite and he goes to my school. He loves boasting. Look at my new watch. He loves playing <laughs> jokes. I'm coming. Boo! 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 And he always wants everything his own way. Grandpa agrees with me. Floyd is a big, spoiled show off. Let's check out my new skateboard. Come on then, let's go. Will you be all right while I'm gone, Grandpa? Oh yes, I think I'll just have a little lie down. Floyd cooking at Miss Smiley's Fun Kitchen is a recipe for disaster. There's only one thing for it, I'm coming too. Not the shrinking cap, Grandpa! <laughs> Catch me if you can! You know what happens when Grandpa shrinks. He can get in my car and make it go. He can fly on Gordon, my toy seagull. He can get into our Sunny Sands train and chuff around. Or he can just run for all he's worth. I'm the only one who knows about Grandpa's magic shrinking cap and nobody else is allowed to see him. Quick, Grandpa, jump into my backpack. But he was too late. Just at that moment, Floyd came back in. Are you coming or not? But, Floyd, I mean, no, no, I need him. So we all got into Campo and went to the cafe. Grandpa had missed his chance of coming with me. Now he had to find his own way of getting there. But I knew that Grandpa being Grandpa, would have a plan. Mum dropped us off at the cafe and lots of our friends were already there. Has everyone got their aprons on? Good. Don't you spoiling your lovely clothes. M come closer. I'm not wearing an apron. Now, today we're going to be making two of my favourite dishes. Suck up spaghetti and my very own strawberry surprise. <laughs> While Miss Smiley was telling us how to make suck up spaghetti, Grandpa arrived. Suddenly I saw him on the dresser. Now you're going to make your very own. But because it's a bit messy, we're going to make it in the kitchen. So we all ran into the kitchen. <laughs> no need to run. Floyd came stomping after us in a sulky mood. Then Grandpa jumped off the dresser and ran to Miss Smiley's table. While we were all in the kitchen, Floyd crept back into the cafe. He was up to his usual tricks. The bad news was that Floyd had plans for the spaghetti. The good news was that Grandpa had plans for Floyd. While Floyd wasn't looking, he climbed into the cold spaghetti. Floyd went over to the bowl and picked it up. And this is what happened next. The spaghetti started to wriggle. Worms! Wriggly worms! I had a pretty good idea that it wasn't wriggly worms. It was a wriggly grandpa, and I was right. Floyd, what's going on? There are wriggly worms in the spaghetti. Wriggly worms? There can't be. <laughs> what were you doing with the spaghetti in the first place? Nothing. I didn't touch it. 
It was wriggling so much it just fell off the table by itself. Really? Well, you can at least clear up this mess. I couldn't let Floyd see Grandpa. It's all right. I'll do it, Miss Smiley. Oh, thank you, Jason. That's very kind. Floyd, in the kitchen, please. Teacher's pet. Oh, Floyd! I was hoping that Grandpa was all right after his fall, but I needn't have worried. <laughs> what are you doing, Grandpa? I've always wanted to skip with spaghetti. <laughs> Soon, we'd finish making our suck-up spaghetti. Lovely, 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 lovely. But Floyd's wasn't lovely. Now, we're going to make pudding. <laughs> My very own strawberry surprise. And all you need are some strawberries, some cake, some custard, strawberry jam, sugar, cream, and some slices of fruit for decoration. And this is what you do. <laughs> Soon, everybody was busy making the strawberry surprise. Everybody, that is, except Floyd. All he wanted to do was cause trouble. Oh. <sighs> Who did that? It wasn't me. Floyd! It wasn't me, Miss Smiley, honest! Miss Smiley was looking less and less smiley by the second. Oh, this is supposed to be my fun kitchen. It's not much fun for anyone right now. Oh, Miss Smiley went to clean off the custard and Floyd started messing with Zack's strawberry surprise. I knew Grandpa would be really cross with Floyd now and I was right. I've had enough of this. Floyd has got to be stopped. This is what we'll do. Soon, everybody had finished making their strawberry surprises. Oh, you've all done brilliantly. But Floyd hadn't done brilliantly. Now, all we have to do is the washing up. Right. Come on, Floyd, you too. It was time to put Grandpa's plan into action. I rearranged the fruit slices to make a cross face on Miss Smiley's strawberry surprise. Perfect, Jason. Now you leave me to it. Grandpa knew Floyd would try to get out of the washing up. And sure enough, he sneaked back into the cafe. <laughs> Grandpa was ready for him. First, Grandpa knocked over the cups and bowls. Hey, what was that? Then, Grandpa ran behind the jar and started wobbling it about. Oh, I don't like this. Miss Smiley! Young man, I want to have a word with you. Who said that? Me, Sydney, the strawberry surprise. This time, Grandpa had gone too far. He was pretending to be a talking pudding. I've had enough of you spoiling everybody's fun. It wasn't me, it was Jason. Don't give me any of that rubbish. I saw you. It's got to stop. Yeah. Okay. I can't believe I'm talking to a strawberry surprise. Miss Smiley, come here quick. What's the matter, Floyd? Did you know your strawberry surprise can talk? Oh, please, Floyd, no more tricks. It's not a trick. His name's Sydney. Look, his face is all cross. You must have done that, Floyd. No way, it wasn't me. Come on, Sydney, say something. But Sydney had said all he had to say. Now it was time for Floyd to own up. I really don't think I can take much more of this. Okay. I did do all the other stuff, like dropping the spaghetti and flicking the custard. I know I shouldn't have. I won't do anything else. Promise. I'm really sorry. Thank you for apologising. But it's true about Sydney. 
Miss Smiley started to smile again. And her smile was bigger and better than ever. Grandpa's job was done. He climbed into the plane and flew home. He got back just before we did. Grandpa whipped off his shrinking cap and came back to his normal size. Grandpa! Oh, we did it, Jason. We taught Floyd a lesson for you, me and Sydney. <laughs> Teamwork, eh? Yes, Grandpa. Teamwork. <laughs> oh, you've woken up, Grandpa. We had a brilliant time. We made suck-up spaghetti and Miss Smiley's strawberry surprise. Oh, what a great feast. Miss Smiley made you some spaghetti, especially for your supper. I'm going to heat it up for you now. Floyd was really awful at first, but then he started behaving himself. He said the strawberry surprise told him off. A talking pudding? I don't think so. Well, that's what I call a real surprise. <laughs> It's a hot day for tea. Shouldn't they be having juice? My friend Dora had come to play. And when Dora comes, we have to play with Jemima's old dolls. Look! We've even got a chef. Ah, Pedro Perfecto. Here you are, Pedro. A jammy jumbly biscuit for your customers. <laughs> we were all having fun. But guess who'd come to look after us? Oh, I have never been so hot in all my life. Great Aunt Loretta, Grandpa's sister. Green gloop, that's what I need. Green gloop is spinach and sprout shake. Mm -hmm. It's just one of the revolting things she makes. Oh, yum. Right, now, come on, got to clear all this lot away. What? Why? We are expecting a visitor. Who? Mrs McQuiskit, that's who. The Mrs McQuiskit? From Mrs McQuiskit Cooks for the Country. The very one, Grandpa. Mrs McQuiskit has a TV cooking show. I met her in Miss Smiley's cafe. <laughs> she is in Sunny Sands gathering exciting new recipes. I said to her, if you are gathering exciting new recipes, you have come to the right place. I am going to make her the tea of her life. Jammy jumbly biscuit? Oh, I'm planning a whole lot more than a jammy jumbly biscuit, Grandpa. A whole lot of more. Oh yes, today there would be more than a biscuit for Mrs McQuiskit. Mrs McQuiskit does a TV show called Mrs McQuiskit Cooks for the Country. She is great at stirring and whisking and mashing and she makes really extraordinary food like the Jelly Mountain and the Vegetable Volcano and the Field of Fruit. Ah, a field of fruit. That's my favourite Mrs McWhiskit recipe. We'd set up the doll's tea party again, but we weren't going to have much time to play. Jason! Dora! I'm coming! In fact, Jason, if Aunt Loretta is going to try and make some of her revolting food for Mrs McWhiskit, I think we ought to try and stop her. And to do that, I need to be small. Not a shrinking cap, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! As you know, when Grandpa's small, he can run so fast I can't catch him. He can fly off in my toy plane. He can whiz about in my toy car. I had no idea where he'd got to or what he was planning. Jason! I had to go and help Great Aunt Loretta to make Mrs McQuiskit's tea. Trust Grandpa to have gone for a little lie down. Ah! Right now, then, have we got everything ready for <laughs> sardines and bananas on toast, cauliflower cake with cockles and jam, seaweed jelly and mustard, and lobster and lettuce ice cream. Ooh. <laughs> Great Aunt Loretta was making her weirdest tea ever. Mm. Out of the corner of my eye, I saw Grandpa running in. And guess what? He was dressed as Pedro Perfecto. He jumped onto the dresser and then told me to get everyone out in the garden. Oh, the seaweed and the jelly. Great Aunt Loretta, why don't we pick some tomatoes from the garden? I think they'd go really well with 
the um... lobster and lettuce ice cream. Ooh, you're really catching on, you two. Ooh, go on then, out you go. So oh. we went into the garden and Great Aunt Loretta went to the dresser. Oh, oh I thought I'd have to put all the dolls in the other room. Oh, I don't like the looks of you. Shifty looking you are. Oh. So Great Aunt Loretta thought Grandpa was a doll. And Mrs McQuiskit won't like dogs in the kitchen, so you watch out. <laughs> Meanwhile, Grandpa had jumped off the dresser and was now on the kitchen table. He started to knock things off. First the sardine tins, then the banana, then the mustard jar, then the cockles, then the jam, then the lobster, then the lettuce, and finally the open tub of ice cream. The temptation of ice cream was too much for Wolfie. Well, after all, it was a very hot day. The second part of Grandpa's plan was to hide everything. But then he heard the doorbell. And then he heard this. Ah, what's going on in here? Oh, oh you, that dog. That dog, it's been all over this table. Oh. Oh, I feel all hot and peculiar. Oh, 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 but I can get a bowl out there for the tomorrow. Grandpa quickly hid behind the toaster. Oh, come on, hurry up. Any minute, Mrs. McQuiskit will be here. Oui, Mrs. McQuiskit here. Oh, I rang the bell and didn't get an answer, so I came round the back. Oh, um, afraid the tea's not quite ready yet. He's not quite ready, you say. My dear, the tea is all over the floor. And there's a wee scraggy-looking dog eating ice cream out of the tub. How perfectly horrible. Shoo, you! Shoo, shoo, this is no place for dogs. I was just going to mash some tomatoes for the tomato sauce. I'll do the yeah, mash. Ice cream. I'm not just a great whisker. I'm a great masher, too. Ah! Oh, you squirted me. Oh, I don't want to be squirted. Here, I'll do the mashing. Oh. And Great Aunt Loretta chased her around the table. Come on, give it to me. I'll do it. Oh, a lobster just tripped me up. Oh, out of the kitchen, you two. This is no place for we children. This is a health hazard. It's perfectly harmless. Take it away. It won't hurt you. No, I don't like the whiskery bits. Put it down. Thank you, Loretta. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so hot. Is it always this hot in Sunny Sands? No, it's an especially hot day. What you need is a glass of green gloop. Nothing like a glass of green gloop to cool you. Oh, 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 oh. So that's how you cool down in sunny sands, is it? You get covered in glue. Oh, oh sorry, I, I, I didn't mean. Oh, oh, I'm getting a towel. Mrs. McQuiskey's covered in glue. And Great Aunt Loretta dashed upstairs. Should we go in? No. Um, I needed an idea. Tell you what, go and help Great Aunt Loretta find a towel. I'll listen here. I knew Grandpa would be up to something any minute. Sunny Sands, eh? Oh, I'd heard such great things about the place. Miss Smiley's cafe is full of wonderful recipes, but here, oh, it's bonkers. Lobster ice cream and green gloop and a tiny wee chef. A tiny wee chef? Pedro Perfecto, out of your service. This time, Grandpa had gone too far. What would you like, huh? I can make anything in the world. I can make a spaghetti, a macaroni, linguine, tortellini, pizza with a crispy base, pizza with a not so crispy base. Grandpa was going through every dish he knew. The frankfurters, the fries. How you like some ice cream, huh? A wee chef is talking to me. A wee chef is talking to me. And with that, she ran into the garden. She's run into the garden. Oh. I think she's just very hot and bothered. Hot and bothered? Oh, very hot. Oh. A, a 
Tommy Chef was talking to me. Chef? Where? In there. A wee talking chef. Oh, don't be silly. <laughs> Just then, the doorbell rang. That'll be your mum, Dora. Quick, you've got to go. Before I knew it, we Grandpa was back on the table. But he had to hide. He dived under the lobster <laughs> and... <laughs> Uh, did, the, did the chef talk to you? No, the lobster! The lobster ran across the table towards me. Oh, 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 come up here! Come up here! Oh, where the can get at us! Oh, oh. So, they looked at each other, looked at the pond, and decided to jump. <laughs> then, they decided to laugh. <laughs> I think we just got hot and bothered. <laughs> I think we just needed to cool down. <laughs> Wait, Hollerata! Catch! <laughs> I left them playing in the pond and I ran inside to find Grandpa. I've put Pedro's clothes back on him, Jason. Well done, Grandpa. Now cap off. Quick! So Grandpa took off his cap and came back to his normal size. Oh, well, Jason, we stopped Aunt Loretta from making her weird food for Mrs. McWhisket. Yes, Grandpa. And I think they're going to be friends for life now. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Teamwork, eh? Teamwork. <laughs> Later, Great Aunt Loretta and Mrs. McWhisket were definitely friends for life. I was so hot and bothered, I thought I was chased by a lobster. And I thought a wee chef was talking to me. <laughs> what would you like? Uh, I can do a spaghetti, macaroni, linguine, jammy jamly. Do you know something? He sounded just like that, the wee chef. <laughs> <laughs> But one of the best is Miss Smiley's Cafe on the pier. Now today, Mrs McQuiskett had come to do some baking. Oh, it's so exciting having you in my cafe, Mrs McQuiskett. Mrs McQuiskett was a famous TV cook. On my television show, Mrs McQuiskett cooks for the country, I bake cakes in shapes, Miss Smiley. So I am going to be making sunny sand shapes. Oh, lovely. I am going to be making a good many cakes in shapes because I am going to be making the whole of sunny sands in cake. You mean the lighthouse and the beach hut and Mr Wopsy's shop? And my cafe! Yes, all of that, dear. All of that. Oh, everyone will be so excited to see that, Mrs. McWhisket. Yes, this was the day of the Great Big Sunny Sands Cake Bake. Now, I'm going to need bigger cake tins. And there's not nearly enough flour here for the whole of Sunny Sands. That's no problem. Mr. Whoops. Oh, my husband, he's going to be helping us today. Oh, well, he's on his way here right now with more flour. And just then the door flew open and there he was. Oh, my lovely jubbly hubby. Wonder wife of mine. Oh, 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 oh. Mr. Whoops is called Mr. Whoops because he's always having little accidents. How could I be so clumsy? Oh. Would you mind passing me the bandages, please, Mrs. McWhiskey? <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the mill on the marsh, I was playing the Captain Dumbletwit game with Grandpa. Six oh. extra turn, whoopee! Suddenly we heard... It's Mr Whoops! Mr Whoops needed some big cake tins. Be careful, Mr Whoops. She's making the whole of Sunny Sands out of cake shears. I think she'll need more help. Oh, come, I can help. Oh, good idea, Josh. Put some of the tins in your backpack. I'll go tell Grandpa. I can't come to the cafe today because I'm off to my flamenco class. Oh, I did wonder. Well, what if I come by and pick Grandpa up later? I'm sure he'll want to see the whole of Sunny Sands in cake. <laughs> the whole of Sunny Sands in cake? Well, this I must see. It'll be brilliant. But 
if Mr. Whoops is involved in Mrs. McQuiskit's great big Sunny Sands cake bake, she's going to need all the help she can get. <gasps> Not the shrinking cup, Grandpa! Catch me if you can! When Grandpa shrinks, as you know, he can make all kinds of magical things happen. He can fly out of the window in my toy helicopter. He can drive around in my cousin Jason's car. But today, he's going to travel in a different way. Josh! Jump, Grandpa, quick! <laughs> Mr. Whoops is waiting, Josh. Oh, Grandpa must have gone for a little lie down. But of course, Grandpa hadn't gone for a little lie down. He was in my backpack. And off we went together in Mr. Whoops' car to Miss Smiley's cafe. In the cafe, Grandpa was hiding on a shelf. Mrs. McWhisket had already baked quite a lot of sunny sounding cake, and Mr. Whoops and Miss Smiley were getting the table ready for the display. Another egg. I need another egg. I'm on it. And Mr. Whoops ran to get an egg. But yes, <laughs> you've guessed. The egg flew towards Grandpa, but Grandpa pushed it away. And into the mixing bowl it went. Well, at least it landed in the right place. Grandpa quickly hid. Oh, yeah, could you just pass me one of those bandages, please, Mrs. McWhiskey? How many more times, Miss Smiley? Mrs. McWhiskey was about to see Grandpa, so he did this. Mrs. McWhiskey picked the bandage up and threw it to Miss Smiley. I'll just take Mr. Whoops into the kitchen to put on his bandage. Shall I get the eggshell out of the bowl? Thank you. What a smart boy. Grandpa was standing in a pool of eggs. But just then, Mrs. McQuiskit put some sugar in. How was I going to get Grandpa out without Mrs. McQuiskit seeing him? And then in went the butter. I had to think of something. Mrs. McQuiskit was about to turn on the mixer. Then I had an idea. Oh, no! What? What is it now? I've dropped the eggshells on the floor. Don't tread on them. Oh, goodness, boy. There's no need to be quite so upset. I'm used to people having little accidents around here. And while Mrs McQuiskit picked up the eggshell, I quickly got Grandpa out of the mixer. He needed to hide <gasps> as Mr Whoops and Miss Smiley were coming back. Well, now, Mr Whoops, I think it would be better for you if you went and had a cup of tea with Grandpa at the mill as far away from me as possible. Oh, yes. You could bring Grandpa back with you. I think that's a good idea. I don't think I've ever had so many little accidents. Whoops! Oh, Mr. Whoops! This was a disaster. I couldn't let Mr. Whoops go to the mill to get Grandpa because Grandpa wasn't at the mill. He was here. I needed an idea and fast. Hey, wait! Why don't we make some little people out of icing? People that live in sunny sands. You're so good at making things, Mr. Whoops. Mr. Whoops really is ever so good at making things. Well, as long as he makes things as far away from me as possible. So I took Mr. Whoops into the storeroom with the icing and Miss Smiley came too with the bandage. With Mr. Whoops out of the way, Mrs. McQuiskit was able to get to work on the icing and soon the great big Sunny Sands cake bake was on display. There, at last, a triumph. The whole of Sunny Sands in cake. Oh, Mrs. McWhiskit, it is wonderful. <laughs> Now all we need are the people. Just then, we came out of the storeroom. We've got the people. Here they are. Goodness me, it's an Egyptian mummy. I went to find Grandpa as quickly as I could. Whoops! Oh, oh. Mr Whoops arranged all the people. Mr Mentor. <laughs> Aunt Loretta. Oh, look, it's Grandpa. Miss Smiley, there you are. Oh, Mr. Whoops. And me! <laughs> Get Miss Smiley and Mr. Whoops into the kitchen. I want to be alone with Mrs. McQuiskit. We can't have her being horrid to poor Mr. Whoops. Okay. Well, what do you think? Hmm. 
They're different. But the cake is what's really important. Oh, now I've a few finishing touches to make. Why don't we leave you alone to do that? Oh, that's a very good idea. Come along, Mr Whoops. And off we went to the kitchen, leaving Grandpa to put his plan into action. He jumped off the shelf... ..then climbed up the table leg. Where's my piping bag? While Mrs McWhisket went to get her piping bag, Grandpa hid the model of himself and stood in its place. Anyone can make little people out of icing, even someone who keeps having little accidents. <laughs> oh, no, they can't. Who said that? I did. Mr Whoops is brilliant at making things. Who else could have made such lifelike well, figures, eh? Yes, certainly lifelike. Mr Whoops is a genius. And if I were you, I'd say sorry to him for being so horrid and so bossy. Oh, right. And let him know how grateful you are for all his help. Well, I, I am. I am. And I suggest you hurry before all the others come to life. You don't want Loretta after you, oh, do no. you? No, I don't. Mr. Whoops! Mr. Whoops! <laughs> I want to say sorry for being bossy, you know, and to thank you both for helping, especially you, Mr. Whoops. Your little figures give the Sunny Sands world of cake such life. <laughs> you are very talented. <laughs> no, you're the talented one. Oh, no, it's you. No, you. <laughs> no, really, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> now I'll go and get Grandpa. Come on, Josh. <laughs> As soon as we got to the mill, I ran upstairs. I took Grandpa out of the backpack. Cap off, Grandpa, quick as you can. <laughs> oh, we did it, Josh. We proved to Mrs McQuiskett that Mr Whoops is brilliant. She won't be bossy around him anymore. No, she won't. And it's all because of teamwork. Teamwork! <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're up, Grandpa. Just as well. Mr Whoops is waiting to take you to see the great Sunny Sands cake bake. Oh, I, I think I'd just stay at home if he doesn't mind. I, I do feel rather tired. Oh, you miss out on all the fun. What's that all over your cardigan? Sugar? Oh, anyone would think you'd been baking, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs>